Hello everyone and happy Friday afternoon. I'm hoping you're having a great day. It's chilly, cold, overcast, but at least it's not raining. Got a nice fireplace going on in the background here. As the title of today's video says, uh, you know, there are no kings in YouTube's kingdom. And I think it's very apropos and very true. That title... You know, some of us, I remember when I first started on YouTube years ago, and I thought anything went and uh, had all kinds of problems. Had a channel, that the same channel has been brought, but this is the original channel, but it was terminated and it was brought three different times, brought back three different times. I'm not going to tell you how I accomplished it. Because to the best of my knowledge, I can't think of another channel that's been terminated. An original channel that's been brought back three times. And I learned some really hard lessons at that time about uh, YouTube. Is Every time you think that you're going to stretch the limits out, you're going to get a snapback. Like a really strong, hard rubber band or a bungee cord. Poo, let go. And sometimes it knocks you out. And I learned my lessons, and I remember that I took a, about the, a two and a half weeks, and every night I would closely read Terms of Service on YouTube. All that fine, all that fine print, and as time would go on, and they would develop new ones, I'd study it very closely to see what the Terms of Service were. And it was, you know, I had had a strike for about uh, three years. And then I picked up one for something that was taken out of context. An expression from the Old South was taken out of context. And, well, somebody nailed me on it. And that was that. And I picked up a uh, strike on that. So be it. Fair is fair, I guess. So, you know, things, things get reported. But the bottom line is there are rules to be obeyed. And yes, overnight camper van Elvis picked up a uh, strike for what they called uh, scamming, deceptive practices, and spam. And the bottom line is that's a really, of all the strikes that you can get, that's really, I think, the most nebulous one. I mean, a community guidelines for nudity and stuff, that's, that's all cut and dry. If you're covered below, you're covered, you're, you're good. If your nips are covered, you're, you're, you're gold. Never a problem. Never have had a strike in years on that. But the things with hangouts are very problematic. You know, in other words, we know what to do with uh, most of the community guideline things. So we just do steer clear of it. Don't get the flags. If something's adult rated, put the adult rated content on it. Don't play around with stuff. That's the right way to do stuff. But with hangouts, when it comes to, to uh, scams, spams, and deception, boy, that is really... Think about that. What does that cover? Spamming. You know, repeatedly posting things or scamming. I mean, there's a million different ways that things can be scamming or being deceptive. I mean, these are, these are TOS that you can drive a truck through. And I'll tell you, when it comes to interpretation, it often in this area, forget about, uh, you know, the adult content for nudity, stuff like that. And that stuff is very cut and dry. They sit there and they look at something, and it's either covered or not. But when it comes to scams, spams, and deceptive practices, you got a whole big playing field of problems in front of you. And I'm afraid... A lot of that flagging comes down to the person that's sitting there and reviewing the video because it is such a gray area. And as such, you know, a lot of people should take that to heart that, that YouTube's terms are changing. And it's not so much uh, what you think it is, but the things that you may not be aware of. The way that the platform's changing, it's pushing out lower lower channels that aren't making the thousand subscriber cut and four thousand hour cut they're starting to be forced out of monetization there's a lot of things going on that are trying to to improve the platform but sadly at the expense of a lot of uh, great people that just have smaller uh, channels that enjoy making content and making a few dollars a month it's gratifying 
people say oh the money's nothing but if you get a couple dollars coming in it's really it's it's so feeding for a lot of people it was for me in the in the early days it felt good to finally break that hundred dollar google adsense hurdle and get that check in the mail i mean it was that was a good feeling but now it's coming to the point where they want to get streamlined and they want to get things more operationally sound they want to do a lot of do away with a lot of that bottom end bookkeeping but they want to be able to keep the money in house and i think another big problem we have here is that uh, as such there's going to be a drive for more people i fear to want to use youtube as a platform just for raising money instead of creating video content and i think that's going to create a lot of problems you know we have patreon which is really asking for money in a in a you know in a suit and tie instead of a cup but you know when you're in chat rooms and you're just continuously pounding with links to give and links to give in the side chat that's really you know that's a red line area and i think that you really have to people really everybody has to be aware of that in doing that because i don't think that youtube wants to be used as a platform for holding out the cup and asking for money yes it allows it it allows it to a point and i think some people are starting to realize what that point is now this is why i always caution people and i'll close on this note if you hit your wagon to youtube for the long haul you're likely to be very disappointed it's a very competitive world out there you know facebook's trying to do more video sharing youtube used to have six months for a strike now it's three months and in some ways they're getting more lenient but in some ways they're tougher because competition is growing out there and they don't want to lose the people the creators the uploaders everybody they want everybody to stay in here but that doesn't mean that they want everybody to go ahead and use YouTube for their own benefit instead of for the benefit of the community. All right, everybody, have a great Friday afternoon. Thanks so much for being along. Your comments are welcome down below. What do you think the right use for YouTube is? I'd be interested in hearing from you.